<laughs> Supreme Chancellor Sanavris, we uh, we need to talk about your responses to the few, well, to be honest, the very few comments that you get on your YouTube channel. Um, as your PR advisor, I'd suggest that you tone things down a little bit. You're, um, uh, how can I put this, sir? You're starting to look like a self-obsessed, big-headed narcissist. I am, though. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But we don't want them to think that, sir. We want them to think that you're, well, normal. I am normal. I've been to the hospital to get it checked, man. MRI, normal. ECG, bloody normal. Well, slight, slight aberrations, but basically normal. I got the size of my head measured and everything, and the nurse definitely said it was normal sized. I mean, she, she didn't she didn't give me that in writing or anything, but she was she was probably just out of paper. I'm guessing. Yeah, sure. Um, we have this new comment from Mr. Scott Rod. He seems like a good lad, sir. He followed the Bioshock playthrough. He said it was really good. So, look, we want you to say something nice about his comment. Just to kind of return the favour a little bit. Oh, uh, let's look. Here's a comment here, right? What, what, how would you reply to this one, sir? Right, let's have a look at this then. Another classic Snavris mage rant mental breakdown? The lady doth protest too much, methinks. Oh, oh, I didn't, didn't think so, Ken. Denny Hank, so mental breakdown. What? Didn't di comedy, theatre? That's what this bloody is, mate. And you're quoting Shakespeare here. Who do you think you bloody well are quoting Shakespeare? Ooh, look at me, I'm Mr. Scott Rod. Ooh, we did Hamlet at high school, and now I think I pure know everything about entertainment. Listen, pal. Listen, mate. Listen up. Listen up. If any of us two is Shakespeare, it's bloody well me. Not you, mate, alright? I'm the one who's out here crafting all this entertainment. Blood, sweat and bloody tears, mate, making all this. What do you do? You write comments on the internet. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so impressed. Oh, what a... What a great lad, eh? Sitting there, writing comments. Oh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. Knobhead. Well, um... Maybe, maybe, maybe you could try this instead, sir. Um, thank you for the comment. Thank you for yeah, the the comment. Thank you for the comment. Well, <clears throat> well, look, I'll I'll try, but is all this really necessary? Yes, sir. De One hundred percent, sir. We've looked at your current subscriber count. It's not good. Um, with our current rate of trajectory we we could be sitting at a hundred subs by uh 2023 Ooh, a hundred peasants well subscribers sir yes we call them subscribers here yeah okay i'll i'll try it great sir videos recording whenever you're ready hello mr scott rod thank you for the comment yeah fucking knobhead ken <laughs> Oh, I hate my job. Space, the final fuck's sake, man. Morgan, I've been wondering if it might be bothering you that you planned your own death. No, I didn't. Eh? It's a lot to swallow. No, it isn't. Eh? My advice would be try not to think about the end. Focus on what's in front of you, one step at a time. I'm here if you need help. Oh, that's a big relief. There's a wee robot here for me. Great. What a huge relief. Focus on what's in front of me. You mean the fucking cold depths of space? That's it. Oh, I forgot the fucking... Shit. How do we do this again? Uh, how do we... What's stop? Space is... Space and control is up and down. There was a stop button, wasn't there? What was it? Uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Break Q and D together at the same time. There we go. Right, so there's the hardware labs up there, right? That's where we first came out. 
Let's orientate ourselves. The hull breach. Hull breach in the power plant. We may as well fix that while we're down here, eh? Can he get into the power plant? Where are we actually going? There's a hull breach that way. Why don't we go and fix this one first? 200 meters. That isn't that far. Let's be careful. What is that? Airlock. Right, we can't get in any of these airlocks. They're one way. For the moment, anyway. Can we fit through here? Perfect. Nice one, Morgan. Oh, shit. The fuck is that? Do it the thing then. Fuck, 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 shit. Run. Bloody run, mate. What the fuck? Right. 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 Hull breach power plant. Yeah. Fuck that. Get out of here. Get out of where am I? Shit. Okay, this isn't no good. Yeah, banana, that's just what we need, eh? We've been shot by an alien space. You know, we're out floating around. In the cold, dark confines of space. We've got an alien bloody well shooting at us. Banana's just what we need right now, eh? Mmm, munchy. Right, just run, man. Just forget about it. Forget about it. We're no sealing that breach. No way. No way. Oxygen refill station. What is that? I didn't realise oxygen was going to be an issue. I didn't see that before. We're fine. We're fine. What is this? This is the hardware labs, correct? Ah, that's the hull breach down there. So what is this? Nothing. Nothing. Great. Waste of time. Another human corpse there. It does mark the ones that we've found. Does that take us near? Does, doesn't it? No. That's the power plant that way. So this is in a different direction from where that corpse was. Sorry, not the corpse, the uh, the alien that was attacking us. There's the Arboretum. Now, that corpse Nah, that must be on, like, the other side of the station or something. I don't think we're going to get to it from here. Let's, let, let's, just, let's just get the job done that we came to do. Alright. Get the job done that we came to do. I suppose we can use the glue gun for this to seal it. 
Is that how we sealed the other hull breach? I didn't remember, man. That was a long time ago now. Yeah, that's where we were before. You can see it's great, isn't it? The way they've made it look like there's been a hull breach. All this is blasted away. That's fantastic, man. Never noticed that before. we got to get down here a little bit. Quite a bit. I didn't like the look of this. I think we've been here before. I think this is going to send us out to... another one of those aliens we couldn't identify. It is, isn't it? That's it back there. I think I just saw it. What is that? As an engineering operator, okay. Believe it would tell us if it was corrupted. Doesn't he look corrupted? Well, looks safe so far. So far. Kletka. What is Kletka? What is that there? Aha, we've been here. There's a corpse. Well, we've been here. We've found this corpse. Jose Costa. Oh, wait, was Jose Costa. Was he no the one? Yeah, he's the one that Christine had asked to go out and look for. So he wasn't able to... Let's go down a little bit. Stop. Done. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no way. That's cool. This thing uh, gives us thrust. Okay. Right, now that allows us to access that part of the psychotronics facility. Let's just make sure about that. Uh, Jose Costa was tasked with sealing a minor hull breach in order to restore atmosphere to the exotic material storage areas within Psychotronics. I completed his work that he didn't finish. And the blast door sealing off those areas opened. I should see what's inside. Bloody well, no. No, thank you. Because we know what's inside. And it isn't he very nice. I see you, mate. I see you. Shit, do we have to... Do we have to deal with this? We're only 50 meters away. 
That's tagged. That's got to be the one. That's got to be the one that was attacking us earlier. Maybe if we take it out, we can seal the hull breach in the power plant. What is it? What is it? What is it? Now, we're no far away. Come on, man, eat the thing, thank you. Eat that too. Oh shit. Right. Right, we can always just run. We're right beside the airlock. Can always just run. Uh, sorry, not run. Um, tactically retreat. We can always uh, play our enemies like a game of chess. I play my enemies like a game of chess. Yeah. That'll do. Let's at least find out what this thing is. Come on, man. Come on, man, do your thing. Far are we away? So it just says 30 meters. It looks like a lot more than 30 meters. Come on, man, show me what the... Close to have to bloody well get. That's a corrupted thing, isn't it? 20 meters away, man. Come on. Surely we are close enough. Ten meters. Come on, man. Maybe that's not it. Ah, it's probably on the other side of the panel, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the other side of the panel. Just lean your head in, just long enough. Just long enough. Find out what it is. Telepath. Telepath. Typhon Psychocrates. This is the one that they were, um... Uh, subject 13, Subject 37. This It wasn't susceptible to this. The volunteer wasn't susceptible to it. The telepath is considered to be one of the most dangerous known Typhon, capable of physically, uh, psychically controlling weaker willed organisms. Well, that is not me. Weaker willed. Look up strong willed in the dictionary. You will see my bloody face there. It's almost impossible to contain for further study. Well, until it met Morgan bloody you. Please note that subsequent incident case, blah, 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 the creation... Containment of telepath class specimens is no longer permitted. All personnel entering psychotronics are required to wear a psychoscope in addition to regular safety equipment. Weaknesses. Explosive, fire, null wave, Morgan U, immune to backlash. You get psychoshock, kinetic blast, mind jack. What do those do then? Where are they? Aha, we finished kinetic blast. Uh, yeah, just a uh, more damage and bigger area. Okay. Ooh, quite a bit here. Look at this. Psychoshock. Executed direct psychic attack against biological targets. 45 damage and nullify psi abilities for 10 seconds. That's really good. And that just does more damage and nullifies psi for longer and so does that. Mindjack force biological enemies to 
end hostilities, boring, and fight for you, yay, for up to 20 seconds. Also freeze humans from Typhon mind control. Ah, <laughs> that's probably what we needed when um, we used the stun gun on that on that guy, and you know when we were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. This will give us a minion. It will give us a minion to do our bidding. No, no, what are you thinking, Sir Avis? No, we're not, we're not playing a mage. We are not playing a mage. No bloody way are we playing mages, man. <gasps> run. Just run. We didn't have to fight it. We could fight it. We could fight it. If we fought it... If we fought it... Um... We could seal the power plant hull breach. I don't know how much damage we've done. Does it- can it go invisible? It looks like it's stuck. Only got seven rounds left, so use them wisely, Morgan. Done like no damage. We've done like nothing to it. Done nothing. Use this. All right. Maybe it's time. Wait, do we do we even have any rounds left for it? I don't think so. I don't think we do. Q beam. Do we have any rounds for that? Probably not. No. Nothing for that. Shit. Nothing. Could throw a recycler charge at it. Probably have to get close enough though. You know what man? Let's just let's just play our enemies like a game of chess, okay? Um, time to just get on. Just come in peace. Didn't he want any trouble? Didn't he want any trouble, Morgan? Quicker, mate. A little bit quicker, please, there, mate. A little bit quicker, there, mate. Thank you very much. Get in here. There we go. Get get in. S He's going back down. Let's just leave it. Live and let live, that's always been my motto. That's always been my motto. You know, don't interfere. Don't interfere in people's lives. Don't play God. Don't gloat it over people. Just live and let live, man. It's always been my motto. <laughs> Champion of peace, love, and justice. That shit. That is who I am. Live and let live. You know, do no harm. It's always been my motto. I think we're safe up here. I think we're safe. Alright, 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 alright. Be careful. Be careful, Morgan. Be careful. That's what I'd be saying to myself if I wasn't the god of prey, Ken. I'm just playing a character when I say that. Just pretending to be scared, just acting. It's just multi talented actor, that's just who I am.
Okay. Okay. What? What? I, what? I think we'll do. Let's grab this. Right. Upgrade. Firepower. One more hit is pretty damn good. One more um, damage point is pretty good. Especially if we can get sneak attacks and criticals. So, upgrade that. Magazine capacity. That could be pretty good. Get a few more shots in. Two more shots. That's not worth it. Range. Yeah. When oh, hands zooming. Go on. There we go. Yeah, range. That'll do. Didn't want to waste all the kits. We've only got. We've only got how many? Where's the upgrade kits? Where are the upgrade kits? Oh, there. Six. We've only got six. Okay. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to see it with the scope. We couldn't see it in the room, but maybe that's because there was glass in the way. <gasps> I saw you. I saw you, man. I saw you. Where are you? Are oh, you just a phantom? What's well, tagged? Well, you're you're not a problem. You're not a problem. Let's just wait for him to come out. Glue him up. Couple of pistol shots. Gloom again, probably whacking with a wrench the second time. Come on, man, come out. Come out. Come and face me, you coward. Face me. Look at him. Scared. Scared, isn't he? Run away, run away. Yeah, scared. Come and face me. We have to go in. <gasps> fuck you, fuck, fuck, fuck. Just just acting. Just acting. It's all just acting. It's all just acting. Come on. Get that up here. Get that up here. Put the game on easy, you'll never make it. Didn't he think so? Easy. Alright, alright, alright. Be careful. Just be careful. What did we get? What was that? Um. Oh, it just completed. Is there a history? Show completed. Where is it? It's not there. Breach access? Nope. There. Uh, so we just had to access exotic storage. That's us in here. Uh, I thought we were maybe going to pick up a million dollar that word gun. But I think I think it's implied that the gun that we're using is the million dollar thingy gun. We've used it to seal the breach, and that opens up this area, which is very expensive. I think that's what the million dollars is implying. 
All right. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We got our scope on. Clear. What is that? Material storage. Subject holding A. Subject holding B. That's it. Let's clear A first, I suppose. Look at that. Do you know what? I bet that's it, isn't it? I bet that's the... What did they call it? Um, Poltergeist? I bet that's it. Do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? It... What, what happened, right? It realised the whole breach had been sealed. And it thought to itself, Oh bloody hell man, you know what that means? Oh shit, you know what that means? Any second now, Morgan bloody you is going to come barging through that door. With a pistol on her bloody hand. With a big iron on her hip. Big iron on his hip. Yup. Big iron on his hip. And she's going to be angry. Oh, she's going to be angry. She's going to have a temper, man. Oh, Morgan you has got one hell of a temper. Do not get her mad. What, that's what he was thinking. He thought, bloody hell, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm trapped in here. I've got nowhere to go. Closed room there. Closed room there. Oh, bloody hell. What can I do? I didn't want to face Morgan You Didn't he want to face her? You know what happened when that uh, voltaic phantom out there? The etheric phantom. You know what happened when that etheric phantom showed up? You know what he tried to do with Morgan, didn't you? Stood at the doorway and tried to negotiate. Big mistake. Big mistake. Morgan, you does not negotiate. You saw what happened to this guy. Did we negotiate? No, we didn't. We unleashed a furious, a furious volley of blows down on this etheric phantom. We got up close and personal. We're practically biting its thingies off, whatever it's got. And this little phantom was all like, oh, didn't he kill me? I've got a mimic wife and I've got mimic children. Oh, and they go to mimic school with their little mimic pack lunch boxes. Didn't he kill me, Morgan? Didn't he kill me? Please, Morgan. Please, I'm begging you. Didn't he kill me? And what did we do? We said, fuck you, man. Yeah, that's right, I swore. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Morgan, you doesn't care about swearing. She'll say anything. She'll do anything. What did we say? Didn't he, didn't he want your... It's too late. It's too late, etheric phantom. Didn't he want your begging? Didn't he want it? All right. Had enough. And what did he say to that? He was like, oh, Morgan, oh, please. No, you can't, please, I'm begging you. Please change your mind. Please reconsider. And what did we say? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. We swore again. We swore. We went, nah. Didn't he think so, mate? Didn't he think so? And then we... Oh, we whapped him. Oh, and we whapped him again. And he went down and he was crying. Begging for his life as we were whacking the fucking... Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. You didn't he like that, did you? And all the other mimics around here, they all looked on. They all saw what was going on. And you cried out for help, didn't you? Help me, mimic pals. Help me. We went to mimic school together. We all went to school with our mimic pack lunch boxes. Help me, please. Morgan's beaten me. Help me, please. What did they do, Phantom? Did they help you? No, they bloody didn't. Because they know you do not mess with Morgan bloody you, mate. No, you, they do, you do not mess with you. So who was looking on? Who saw all that? That's right. That's right. This thing saw all that going on. And it thought, bloody hell. All that, 
All that fury is going to be unleashed on me in a second. I got nowhere to run. Shit, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I can't, I can't just wait here or Morgan you. And then sadly, you know, I feel sorry for the poor guy, I really do, but he thought, that's it, I've got to end my life. I've got to take my life into my own hands, because because it'll be quick if I do it. Morgan, you won't, won't, she won't give me that, you won't give me that pleasure, won't give me that dignity to end it quick. Oh, and we would not have ended it quick, we would have tore your limb from limb, mimic limb from mimic limb. We would have put them all in our little mimic pack lunchbox to eat. That's right. Oh, we would have eaten you later. That's right. That's right. We got no morals. Denny mess with us. Denny mess with Morgan. You. All right. What's in here then? <gasps> Fuck. Right. Right. Just. <laughs> it's just a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, get that, get that up here. Wasn't he scared? That was acting. That was acting. Oh fuck, I'm glad that's over. It's acting. Just role playing a character. That's all. Right. Oops. So, oh look! Aaron Ingram, oh no. Ev volunteered with Transtart to advance humanity's scientific knowledge, Ken. And now I'm on my way back home. No, you aren't. All graduates of Transtar's volunteer program have their slates wiped clean and are reintegrated into society back on Earth. So we're not just helping science, we're getting a second chance. Yeah, integrated into society. Denny think so. We integrated you into the floor, Aaron Ingram. Didn't we? He begged for his life. Begged for his life. So this is like a prop propaganda poster. Wonder why this is in here though. Wonder why this is in here. Is this just to spite the guy? Because I would guess if you end up in here, what what would this place be for? This this is this is probably where you get kept. So you're in the volunteer quarters. Um, after they've done testing neuromods on you and you've lived out your usefulness, you probably get sent here, right? You probably get sent here to live in one of these cells. But they've been in there quite a long time, judging by the tally marks on the wall. Um, and then one day, you know, you get your you get your last meal. Uh, random dim sum and an apple and uh, you get your last meal then you get wheeled out here and you get turned into a neural mod that's what happens man that's what happens okay right Let's look in the let's look in the window first. Not that not because I'm scared or anything. It's just the tactical. Tactically, it's a sound of plan. That's what I'm all about, man. Strategy and tactics. Strategy and tactics. Open up. Okay. All right, we're fine. What is that? Denny Ken. Yeah, so the volunteers, um, they get lured here, don't they? They get lured here and they get told if they come here and volunteer, they get their slate wiped clean, they get their criminal charge the criminal record dropped. They get back home to live among society. We've already searched this place. Material storage, so we should get some good, um, good
good exotic material in here. Wonder what gets piped through that. Wonder what gets piped through there. One exotic material, is that it? Typhon plasma, what does that do? Is that just junk? Yeah, it gives us one, one exotic material, okay. It's pretty much nothing. A waste of time. We went all the way out of space. For nothing. Well, not for nothing, I suppose. We did, um... We did get some... Uh, we got some information on the, uh, what did they call it? The telepaths? So we know this thing wasn't a telepath or it wouldn't be question marked. That's got to have been the poltergeist. Right? We don't have to worry about meeting them again, they're just gonna kill themselves in front of us. They kill themselves at the thought of having to face us in battle. Don't blame them. Don't blame them to be honest. I wouldn't even want to meet, meet me in battle, that's for damn sure, man. Not that I'm scared of me, like, I'm just, but that's how scary I am, that I might be scared. Not because I'm a scared type person, but just because I'm such a, such a, such a force to be reckoned with, really. Can understand why someone would be scared of me. Not that I would be scared, but other people would. So that's it. We are done. We are done in this area. What we should do, let's just finish off all the little, um, just sort of inventory tasks. We we'll head to the recycler. Is there a fabricator up here? What the fuck was that? You just run, Morgan, just run. Just run. So I could do with, I could do with making some rounds. Alright, get rid of all the junk. Uh, what else do we get rid of? Well, that looks like it. Yeah, let's hang on to everything else. Okay, uh, great. Right, recycle please. Come on. Great. Not very much. Not very much, but hey, it all adds up. Pan psychism. The Greek term pan meaning all everything. <gasps> fuck, fuck. It wasn't that, wasn't this acting? That's acting. Acting. Uh, psyche, whole mind, whole soul, whole mind. All basic physical constituents of the universe have proto mental properties that are irreducible. Proto mental. That's us, man. We are proto mental. We're pure mental. We'll do anything, Ken. You didn't know what we're going to do next. We're unpredictable. Unpredictable. No, it's in the chamber. The Typhon Dysmoria is in the chamber. It says it's in the chamber. All I see in the chamber is the Weaver. Mind you, it says there's mimics in the chamber, but there aren't. But mimics did come out the chamber. They got lured into um, into the uh, into this chamber with what's his name, Aaron. I don't know. Now we did clear this place out. Let's make sure it stayed cleared out. Just crouch walk. I just I like being low to the ground. It's nice low centre of gravity, it's just handy. It's not because I'm scared. Just handy. Alright. So what have we got left then? What have we got left? Right, Alex is, Alex is off his safe in the Arboretum, we can't get there yet. Aha! 
Missing black box equipment in the guts. Let's go and activate that. We need to get to crew quarters for Bellamy's keycard. Search Dr. Gallego's habitation pod and crew quarters. And again, that's crew quarters. I found a transcribed message from a scientist named Annalise Gallegos. Apparently, she was having a crisis of conscience over the experiments performed on the volunteer test subject. Looked like she and a friend planned to smuggle incriminating evidence off the station. Gallegos hid the evidence on a thumb drive labelled Mementos. She's a Latin American, isn't he? Sure, it's probably Mementos. Gallegos, Mementos. Detour, access the guts. We need to get into deep storage, a data processing facility off the Arboretum. So it looks like, in terms of the main story, we get into the guts, we could go into the cargo bay, life support, power plant, open all this up. Up here, into the Arboretum. Then we get into deep storage, that's where the, the, the main quest wants us to go. Need to get to the crew quarters. S a lot of stuff to do in the crew quarters. Talos one bridge. All right. Well, we'll make our decision. We'll make our decision next time. For now, let's head into the guts. <laughs>